when we had last left the fledgling. Everything was coming to a close. Yes, conspiracies were brought into the light. LaCroix had been found out and summarily betrayed in favor of upholding the tenets of the Camarilla. And so the fledgling made off for Chinatown, where they would uncover the key to the Ankaran sarcophagus. <laughs> Jeez, I ran out of breath there. But also, would they find at... Chinatown Ming Zhao, who was pissed as hell and turned into a big uh, tentacle beast monster creature and was summarily slain just as well. After the major battle and, of course, the numerous uh, trials of combat, puzzle solving, and booby traps, the fledgling finally had in hand the key to the Ankaran sarcophagus, which meant there was only one more thing to do. This is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Welcome back. <gasps> Let's go into the portal. This might be the final video, I don't know. I'm guessing it will be, but who knows, maybe this next bit will be extra long. All right, Ooh. can I send this through the portal? Into the portal. No, I can only go into the portal. God, hopefully we get an opportunity to, like, I don't know, go shopping. To. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Should we check our haven? Let's see if we got, like, an email again for some reason. Is there any world in which, like, Heather remains alive and at our apartment or whatever? at our place of residence and we could like check up on her or whatever and she would have something fun to say or whatever deaths of several village children yeah we've heard that before probably not gonna get anything new huh we'll check yeah no new emails all right fair enough sure oh we should probably spend what xp we do have here hmm what should i invest in probably at this point I mean, really, what else could we do? Like, we could get appearance, but I feel like we're already fairly committed to persuasion, which, like we said before, seems like the re main recommendation. I'm thinking defense, right? Anything tied to defense, like if we can get our soak up or like our dodge, if we can pump some points into that, that might be good. I mean, we could put points into like, I don't know, what is it fucking our research by way of getting intelligence up but eh. I mean it's gonna be hit and miss what we get out of those extra books and didn't we sell most of them off yeah I think we just pump points into into dodge I mean we could do like intimidate right but that hasn't really been so much in line with our character especially since our character is such a I don't know, like a fucking weasel. <laughs> okay. I think dodge is, is where it's at, right? I think we, we pump points into dodge. We could do that via wits. Of course, we'll do some via dodge. There we go. Good. Defense up to seven. Pretty hefty. Okay. Because I'm assuming, like I said... I'm expecting a big major super rumble. I don't know how we'll be able to stop this, though. Right? Like, what is so special about our character? Was there something really peculiar about the vampire who sired us? And if that's true, how come they died so fucking easy? Right? How come they gave up the... They gave it all up so quickly and easily and, like, got fucked over by LaCroix? Were, were they really at such an advantage that even, like, a powerful vampire in a situation like that is just fucked? I don't know. Like, we know so little about who embraced us. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go buy some more stuff. Like, is it just... Is the idea that we're just, like... Where to? Exceedingly lucky or something, I guess? <laughs> that we keep coming out of these, like, near-death scrapes fairly well off? I need to buy supplies. Let's see. Let's go to Mercurio's. 
good. Do you think I can? What's the night's order? Do you think I could suck Mercurio? Concerning? Do you have info? Oh, regarding Who people. Exactly? Troika Games RPG again. House, not in LA. Okay. All right. Now I need equipment. Well, I think we should definitely load the fuck up on everything that we like, right? Hmm. Like, if anything, I would maybe sell off these cr this crossbow in favor of just buying more ammo. Right? Because, I mean, what good is it going to do us, really? Huh. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Yeah, let's buy some Jaeger rounds here, because they're fairly cheap. Good. What else can we get? Um, we could get flamethrower stuff. Well, super fucking expensive. Look, how come it's lit up red now? Weird. As if I can't afford it, even though I've got money at the top. Alright, let us buy some 44, because I love that. Maybe we'll just spend the rest of our money on 44? Do I want flamethrower shit? I mean, I guess I could buy one. There. Okay. Hmm. Otherwise, yeah, I think I... I should just buy 44. Yeah. My preferred weapon. Okay, I can't afford... Should I sell off some other shit, like clothing? Oh, I can't sell. Okay. Should I sell, like... <laughs> the, the, the sarcophagus key? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um... Should I get rid of anything here? I could sell, like, this melee stuff. Right? I could sell this really cool katana. That's super valuable. Do you think there'd be reason to keep this? I feel like the answer is no, right? I feel like if we keep any weapon, we'll just hold on to a standard katana. You know? Because I'm, I'm probably not even going to use it, right? I mean, there's a chance, but probably not. I, yeah, let's... Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's play it fucking loose with that. Okay. That way we can just have even more ammo. I think that's smarter. Good. Okay, should I buy, like, I don't know. More 12 gauge? Or I could buy, like, some of, uh, 50 cal. Yeah, fuck it. There we go. Fine. Where to? Okay. Hmm. Anywhere else we should go? I mean, we could sell off that picture if we wanted to, but fuck it. Nah. Like I said, we, we've kept it for this long. It may be worthwhile to hold on to. Okay. Yeah. It's time to finish this. We are here. This, this is it? it I, dude, I think we're still on the highway. <laughs> are, you, are you sure about that? Are you even actually driving this car? Like, how are you manning the steering wheel here? You're driving at what? Fucking six o'clock? Come on. Very unsafe. <laughs> hey, who are you? How do you know so much? Wish me luck. About time I was starting to feel a little antsy. Hey, who are you? How do you know so much? I drive people to their destination. That is who I am. Remember, wherever we go, it is the blood of Cain which makes our fate. Farewell, vampire. Blee! Right, bye. I kinda like the fate I make myself. See you around, cabby. Kane, you believe that shit? <laughs> Thought you were sensible. See ya. Oh, I see. Hmm. Our character would definitely say three. <laughs> Even not knowing what I know, our character would still say three. <laughs> okay. Kane, you believe that shit? <laughs> Thought you were sensible. See ya. Okay. The largest sect of vampires in existence. The Camarilla concerns itself. Yeah, we've heard that before a bazillion times. Uh, see, I don't know what happened, but LaCroix says I'm not supposed to let you up under any circumstances. 
He says I should escort you out of the building, so I'm afraid you're going to have to leave. Damn, we went right into his fucking eyeball like an episode of Lost. What if I were to say no? Sorry, I can't do that. Ask yourself, what's more important, my life or my low-paying job? Or my life or my low-paying job? Let's persuade him out of it. What if he's actually, like, super strong and we're talking ourselves out of, like, a minor boss fight? Right? Or, like, I don't know. Maybe he's he's weaker early on when you encounter him. Because he's the same dude from the museum, right? Man, what would have happened if we killed him back there? Fuck. Okay. Because I was wondering, like, what if he's a secret, super powerful enemy? Right? Like, he, he's like a, a Grim Reaper to the Dracula. Okay. Yeah, let's do the Persuade here. It went pretty well. <laughs> let's do a quick save. Can we suck him real quick? Come on, man. Give it up. The jig is up. The jig is up, chunk. There we go. Oh, he's juicy. Okay. There we are. Good. Okay. Let's see, I've got... Yeah, we're looking good. Let's make sure we're, like, fully reloaded on everything. Wonderful. Okay. Though I'm assuming we'll have to actually... go through the entire place. Like, <laughs> like I don't think we'll be able to use the elevator, right? Oh, shit! Okay. What the fuck are they using? Sounds like 50 cal or something? I'd assume? Good. Okay. Fucking A. Oh no, they've got uh, 44s. Okay. Good. You know, trying to use what ammo they're using on me, that way we can sort of keep it even killed. Okay, good enough. Make sure this is reloaded and everything. It's in here. Anything good? Ooh, secret path down. But we don't need to go down, we need to be going up. I guess we can only go down. Fair enough. Well, on the bright side, you know what? The Sabat attack probably... <laughs> really helped us out here. <laughs> They're probably still recuperating after that. Okay. Well, let's go inside of this. Down into the creepy basement. Cool. Alright. Oh, uh, this is Nosferatu access. Okay. Man, so do the Nosferatu not get conversations with the cabbie either? Wow, that's wild. Does this actually work? No. Oh, there must be another way up that we missed. Okay, sure. Interesting. Yeah, I guess if you... Yeah, you need to avoid Chunk, right? This really seemed like the way to go, but this is the restroom. Somehow. Wait, do I actually go up in the elevator? Surely I can't do that. No way, I, I can hear it coming. I'm expecting dudes to come pouring out. Like, why wouldn't they? No? What the fuck? Man, security here really is fucked up. <laughs> okay. High roller, sweet. Come on, is someone not going to, like, cut the cable on this fucking elevator? They're just gonna let me come up here? Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. There we are. Okay, cool. 
sneak up on this fucking asshole. Ooh, yeah, we got the fun music again from back at uh, Society of Leopold. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Good stuff. Should we just suck this guy completely dry? I think so. Fuck him. He's a cop anyway. Alright. Good shit. Over here. Or should I be in character? Oh no, I, I feel really bad about doing this. He is... He is one of our boys in blue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. I mean, I guess I could do this without- oh. Nope, let's just blast him. Fuck it. Dude, I'm getting some- I'm feeling- you know, maybe it's because of earlier, I was bringing it up. But I'm- I'm feeling some Max Payne shit coming on. Like, <laughs> it's the final boss going to be like, LaCroix in a fucking attack helicopter or some shit. <laughs> okay. Anything over here? Fuck, I'm liking this. Oh man, it's gone. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> okay, good. Dude, I'm owning ass. We're owning some major fucking ass. It's gotta be said. Let's see. Man, this cubicle situation is like a... <laughs> it's like a proper maze or something. Are there any interactables here? Or are we just like purely in rumble zone? I think we're just in the rumble zone, you know? Fuck it, yeah. We're in the rumble zone. I'm ready to rumble. Dude, where's all the fucking SWAT dudes that we saw earlier, huh? Where's this go? Oh, I can give this a quick pick. Oh shit, you need a unit of 10. Let me grab your ammo there real fast, dude. Thank you. Are we thinking there's bonus shit back here, or what? This is like maybe a shortcut to where we actually- Oh, uh, we could have done this from the very start, I see. Okay, fair enough. Okay. I'm trying to keep an eye out for like, you know, interactable computers that we could actually use to get some kind of, I don't know, lore. Okay, good. Very well, through here. Goes up. Where's this go? Give him a suck. Top ourselves off, it's just him. <laughs> Fucking some intense sucking music. Jeez. You even hear like the little cat mewing. You know, that's how intense the music is. <laughs> Oh shit, okay. You gotta pop the blood buff again. I don't know where this is gonna pop me out at either. Good. This is gonna be somewhere we've been? Yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. I just- I guess I just assumed that all these would either be fully locked to us or we're also similarly open. Okay. Damn, their stairs are like really tiny. Okay, for such a big, like, building. <laughs> we can- this guy's so easy, we can just immediately begin the suck. Great. Okay, cool. You know, we'll just keep our shit topped off. The rest of them will blast, I think. Okay. What kind of weapon do you have here? A baton? Huh. I don't think we've gotten one of these before. A police baton. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Any of these openable? What even are these? Okay. Oh, I should be killing them from afar, that way they've got their weird shit out. Look at this, is this some fucking platforming right here? Oh, fuck. Here's the SWAT guys, okay. Oh my god, okay. Oh, shit. Maybe we 
should swap to their weapons. Right, where are they using? I'm assuming it's the, yeah. Okay. Let's swap to that. Good. Look at me being very careful with our ammo supply. Fuck off. Alright. Good. Let's see. Anything cool inside of this? Lock picking of eight. I swear it really looks like I need to jump up this. Can I make this? Can I make these jumps? Holy shit, I can. Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure if that probably is the way to go, because, you know, what if you don't have lockpicking for this? Now there's regular stairs. Okay. Anything else around here that's fun? There's another baton, I think. Which way did we even enter here? Fuck, I don't even know. Was it here? Oh shit, no, I gotta pick this. Yeah, where did I even enter this room from? Was it this? Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, over here, okay. Let's see. Let's get inside of this, let's just see what's in there. Maybe there's like a fun bonus. Like a cache of ammo or whatever. Would be nice. Okay. This goes back down. Oh, this loops around. Okay. So this would have been, right, quick, easy access. Okay, skip a bunch of dudes. Gotcha. Okay. Should we take this route then? Maybe? Okay. Let's do a quick save, just for good measure. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, it didn't feel right, uh, d sneaking up on them with how busted the stealth is, you know? Especially since I can take them, like, head-on. No problemo. Oh shit, there's a fucking guy right there. Okay, good. You think I can get a suck off on this fucking guy? Or maybe we'll be in deep shit if we try that. Oh shit, I can! Wow, the SWAT guys? I guess you're only human. I guess you are just a human, ultimately. I'm surprised my fangs can even get through the fucking, like, tactical armor. Okay. Sure. Is this interactable? I, do I climb through this thing? <laughs> Shimmy through? Okay, cool. I like it. Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, it's like a hidden ladder. Whoa. Oh, fuck. <laughs> One of these... Oh, shit. Oh, it got significantly brighter as we entered the actual level. Fucking these little... I don't know what you would call these. Little tiny backo or whatever? I don't know. I have a friend who... Uh, the first day he got to drive one at his work, he almost completely fucking destroyed it. Irreparably and like flipped it over in a really bad way. <laughs> okay. Oh. Good. Do you think they know where I'm at? I mean, if we get shot, that's not too bad. I anticipated you'd make it this far. Oh! I had no doubts about your capability. But I am not so easily betrayed. Did you ever think about what it takes to live as long as I have? To come this far? Consider that lack of judgment in your last few seconds. Oh, shit. Wait, we can discuss this. I'm coming for you, LaCroix. You hear me? I'm coming for you! Consider this. You're going to die tonight. I'm coming for you, LaCroix. I'm going to fuck you up. Tick, tick, tick. Abiento, kindred. Hey, look at his outfit. He's wearing, like, dominated guard. Whoa, shit. What does that mean? 
Okay. But did you see his outfit? He was wearing, like, um... A shitload of dynamite on his bod. What the fuck was going on there? Okay. Is he gonna try and, like, blow me up? Like, I can't shoot him if, uh, unless I also want to die? Where's this dominated guard that I've got the health bar for? Loving this shit. Where they go? I ain't where they go. Fuck. Okay, let's get this one. Good. Let's see here. Oh. Someone there? Someone? Oh shit! Hey. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm stuck. Cool. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, how'd you shoot me? Oh, did the dude upstairs, like, manage to get a beat on me? Okay. I'm gonna get ya! Oh, shit, am I? There we go. I gotcha. Okay. Cool. Good way to save ammo, right? Let's do another quick save. I'm a little worried about this dominated guard situation. Okay. Let's see. Anything else around? Yo, you know, I gotta say, I started watching and just honestly binge watching through a fuck ton of succession for the first time in like the past week, two weeks. Finally, after so many suggestions, I watch it. I've been loving it, but frankly, I gotta say, how does LaCroix not have a fucking helicopter to... Sure, maybe not an attack helicopter to gun me down and be, like, a final boss fight. Maybe not. Though, you know, I'm still holding out hope. But, how does he not have just a helicopter to flee the scene? Right? Okay. Am I meant to drop down here? Is that the idea? Oh yeah, I guess this ladder. Is this like an actual ladder? That you yeah, okay. I really do not like this dominated guard shit going on. It's making me feel a little antsy. Did I like miss an enemy or something? Was I supposed to kill dominated guard? Look at that. Cool. And look at the cars down there. Okay. Oh shit. They got the same, like, uh, low LOD, <laughs> far distant, uh, traffic that they used in the Cyberpunk. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Do you like that? Oh, what was this? What was that icon? Did you see that? There was, like, a hand icon. I could have, like, hand interacted with something. Huh. What was that? Oh, shit. Is it just you? Cool. Awesome. I feel like I had the, the music earlier. I feel like I was close to being able to replicate it, but I've lost it again. Alright. Oh shit, this is the dominated guard. Let's quick save. So what if I just suck? Can I do that? Okay. Cool. Oh, shit. I mean, maybe I just chop him. Should I just give him some some of the old chopping slot? Save up on ammo? Because he's pretty easy. Like, they're bullets. Like, he can't even hardly shoot me if I'm right on top of him. <laughs> Okay. Good. <laughs> Run. Okay. Good. Hope he doesn't blow up after I do this. That's gonna suck. Here we go. We're gonna find out. 
Was this shit? Oh, Astrolite. <laughs> okay, funny. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Is that what he had strapped to his chest? His Astrolite? <laughs> cool. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. I guess that's a fun way to, to like loop the game around. <laughs> it begins with with a uh, astrolite and it ends with it. Okay. Okay, over here. Good. Anything over this way? No. All right. Oh fuck me. Okay. Where the hell do I go now? Oh, upstairs? I guess? I thought I'd gone up here. Maybe I didn't. Am I like tripping some major balls or what? Yeah, because I did the drop down, right? Oh, do I need to blow something up? For real? Oh, I bet I do. What do I blow up then? Something up here? No. Huh. Oh, shit. Okay, had to bunny hop. Okay. Hmm. What do you think I explode here? This thing? Oh, yeah. What? I'm gonna quick save. I'm not sure what the fuck I'm doing. I'm arming explosive. Somehow, some way. I don't know why. Uh, okay. And then I send it up and it's gonna blow something up? Up there? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh... Is this a good thing to do? And then can I bring it down? Wow, it's a really dur durable lift. Holy shit. Okay. Good. And then let's go up here. Good. What the hell even is Astrolite? I've never even heard of that. Or is that like uh, their in-world name brand for some sort of like cleaning product? Oh, we blew up everyone on this floor somehow. Okay, it was- it- uh, the, the bomb operated like we were playing Bomberman. Okay, there'll be someone hiding behind one of these corners, just like, wiping bullets of sweat off their brow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I evaded the Bomberman bomb! Well, this seems ominous. Okay. Good. I guess we're just going all the way up, right? Why not? Or maybe there was a reason to go on to, like, floors 5, 6, and 7. Too late now, I can't click any of them. Ooh, look at this. Okay. We're, like, back at the Giovanni Mansion. Hey, stop right there. Where even are you? Oh, you're outside. Okay. Oh, fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Let me through! I need to shoot! Oh shit, look at these guys! Oh, you are a vampire! Yeah, you're, um, what do you call it? You're... Who are the snotty assholes? What was their name again? Are they also Ventru? I think so. Gotta be careful of... Katana Kenny here. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> the Matrix shit, huh? <laughs> They're all wearing trench coats and shit. When did the Matrix come out? <laughs> were they, uh, were they feeling it? Were they really into that? Got the Lassiter Killmatic. Good. Anything cool in here? You know, something I can actually hack. Okay. Instead of just straightforward combat. Lights. 
Okay, I guess we'll try to hack it. Hacking level 7. Okay, well. Um, here, we can... Monte Blanc Towers Systems Administration Offices. Oh, fuck. Okay. Pop this. Lights. There we go. Hit the lights. Okay. Enable? Okay. Disable. Okay. What does what does this do for us? Oh, like if we wanted to sneak? Nah. Oh, hey. Fuck off. There we go. It's so much more beneficial to us to kill them at range though, right? Fuck, it's dark as hell. Honestly, I might just go back and turn the lights on. <laughs> just for my sake. I mean, I don't intend on sneaking. Right? Here, let's uh, move a chair. Oh, I can't move them. Okay. Lights. Enable. <laughs> I want them. Alright. Look, I'm a fucking killing machine, and I need them to see my, my prey. Anything cool in here? I'm surprised there's no dudes like rappling down the side of the, the skyscraper or whatever. Okay. Good. The fuck? Who the hell is this guy? He was dressed really weirdly. Should I be killing this guy or what? I'm gonna spare him? Because I don't... He's dressed very differently, so I don't know if that means- Oh, he's lit up red! Okay, I'm just gonna suck him dry. There we go. Hope he wasn't important. There we go. <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> Fucking train down the hallways and shit. Checking the choke points. How's oh, this guy? Oh, is it because I flipped the lights on and off? That that was enough to, like, get them distracted and everything? To, like, behave as if they were operating in in the world as if it were dark. Okay. Anything here? Any lore? Oh, fuck. Where's this asshole at? There you are. Jeez, that hurts. Here, should I scarf down some of my fun tube lord? Hell yes, I should. Can I get in here? We got anything? Nah. Where's this dickhead at still? Still over there, huh? Okay. Alright, this is the... There we go. Got it. Cool. Over here. Alright, that's from before. Okay, good. And we couldn't even get into this one early because... You would need sneak and lock picking. Oh shit. Okay, do you think I can get this trench coat, Lord? Fuck, I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. Good. I was hoping we could get a little extra juice. Let's do a quick save. Come on, surely we're gonna get dudes through the windows, huh? Again? No? Okay. Ooh, special executive elevator. Okay. Ooh, and a load screen as well. Oh, okay, there's a door. I was like, what the hell kind of room is this? Is this like a booby trap room? <laughs> the walls start closing in? Okay. Oh, right, yeah! Why is he not wearing a shirt, though? Okay. The Sheriff. Wow. Yeah, I forgot about his Final Fantasy fucking sword. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't even talk, I guess. Right, yeah. Makes sense. He's never done that. Oh, shit. Okay. Why would I not fight him on the stairs if he can't teleport onto the stairs, right? 
shit, dude. Oh, right, yeah, he's got, like, a point-blank AoE when he does that shit. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, cool. Yeah. This is the downside of, uh, having a melee build in PvP, you fucking fool. Alright, let's get some... juice again. There we go. Ooh, let me shoot! Let me shoot! Gotta reload. Fuck. Oh, I can't zoom out. There we go. Go. Okay. Fucking Buster Sword over here. Oh shit! He knocked me off my safety. <laughs> he fucking anime teleports right behind me too. Okay, dude. Almost. There we are. Oh. He really is from Final Fantasy. He fucking limit broke into a fucking freak. <laughs> okay. Can people just do this? Is this a normal vampire thing? Oh, look at these little freaks. Okay. Jeez, I should scarf down a blood pack here. Good. You think I can suck off these little dudes? Okay. Dude, you really should have just thrown me off the side of the fucking world here. I don't know what you're thinking. Oh my god, what is that? Did I just get hit by a flashbang? Fucking A, man. Okay, I'm gonna take some blood. I think we came fucking equipped. Ooh, shit! Fuck off! Okay. Little men have been taken care of. Good. Oh shit. Where's the big boy? Fucking A. Alright, let's get some more blue. Good. Oh, you're throwing enemies at me. Is that what's going on? Fucking music <laughs> fighting these vampires on the top of a fucking rooftop in slow motion. How fucking cool! <laughs> like, stupid. Stupid as shit, but also kind of fucking cool. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Look at this big fucking meatball flying around. How the hell do you even stay in flight? Looking like a fucking, like, <laughs> bumblebee flying around or some shit. All right, give this dude the quick suck. Good. Ooh, what is that? There's a bunch of blood right there. Oh shit. Okay. Oh wait, this guy is helping me? Wait, who is this fucking guy? Wait, who is this guy? Wait, was the other guy gonna help me too? Who is this fucking guy? Okay. I guess he's a human and doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Right, so he's just shooting at this giant thing thinking that it's part of the threat. Is that the idea? Oh shit, I'm out of bullet. Alright, perfect... Perfect way to finish this with the fucking 44, baby! Ugh. Oh, this is its, like, supersonic scream, huh? That's what this is. I see. Alright. Perfect way. Man, the 44 fucking rips ass. Hell yes. Jeez, did its body just, like, fly down into the streets below? Oh, shit. <laughs> just a giant fucking hunk of meat come plummeting down. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is quaint. 
<laughs> Jeez, very, uh, I feel like we skipped a little bit of exposition here, but, uh, sure, here we are. <laughs> I don't know how I, how I knew that this was how we got here, but, uh, yeah. All right, it was, it was my vampiric senses, our, like, blood link or whatever. All right, hey. Like sire, like child. I should have killed you that night. How could someone as low as you injure me? You think you've taken everything away. But I still have my sarcophagus. But you need this to open it. And I have the key, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's say that. <laughs> you've done all the work for me once again. So much to learn. I thought I had lost it all, but no. Here you've sailed on a Gehenna wind, bearing my salvation. The key to my future. Man, are we about to get another boss? Huh. What are you so happy about? You want it so bad, why don't you come over and take it? Shut your damn mouth, you long-winded Euro trash prick. It's go time. Hmm. You want it so bad, why don't you come over and take it? <laughs> Give me the key. I won't. Never. Fuck you. I won't. I said, give me the key. Don't waste your time trying to dominate me. Sit down, LaCroix. Why doesn't it work on me? Don't waste your time. The key. I need the key. Don't you understand? This city needs a leader. The Quajin will kill us all. With the power that's inside that sarcophagus. I can protect this city. Give it to me. <laughs> Damn, LaCroix. When you start going down on your knees, <laughs> I, was, I was thinking like, Damn. All right. If the Dom approach don't work, I guess we're going sub. Okay. Fuck me. <laughs> Let's see. You betrayed the Camarilla. See you at the execution. This city does need a leader. I hear they'll be looking for a new prince. Now we need to bring up the Camarilla because, you know. That's totally our, our shit. All right, you betrayed the Camarilla. See you at the execution. Well done, Leonate. Ooh. Your powers are you considerable can for one so young. You will be a great asset in the years to come. And the sarcophagus will reside safely in the hands of the Camarilla. I told you before that there are some powers in this world that are best left undisturbed. I don't know what lies in the sarcophagus. And I believe that it may be in our best interests not to find out. Oh, fuck it off. We're Indiana Jonesing it? Our existence. I do not rush to bring about Gehenna any sooner than it need come. I want Let the. the I want to open it. I don't give a damn. Time. I want to see what's so in. But eventually it fades even from our memories. Some things are best forgotten, Neonate. Bring on the Some Gehenna! Are best forgotten. My character is a piece of shit. I'm ready to open it. <laughs> I'M READY TO OPEN IT! Oh, fuck! We're never gonna know?! I forgot, someone wrote in about this. Are there- I think someone said that there's another ending in which- Like, there- there's an ending in which you can open it or something? Huh. So is there an ending, like, if you sided with LaCroix, he opens it, and then he, like, gets whatever's inside and becomes super fucking powerful? Or I guess there could be nothing inside, right? Like, um, like Beckett said. Oh my god, what a fucking cock tease with the, the, not even being able to open it! Fuck me! Gosh, do I want to look up what's inside of it? Or do I want to, like, in the event that I potentially ever come back to the game and do another playthrough? Oh, man. I would like to do another playthrough, but, you know, time is a precious resource. <laughs> huh. Because already, if, if that's the case, then already I've got two games on the list um, for replaying on the channel. Right? And that's disregarding, like, 
hitting up shit like Oblivion again when it's remade. Because I'd also like to do another playthrough of Disco Elysium. Okay. But yeah, this... Holy shit. I gotta say, I speaking of comments, I, I've responded to someone a while back in a video. Maybe you saw this response. Especially if you're watching this in the past. Um, but... I got a level with you, gentle viewer. I did when when I got into this game when I first got into it. I didn't think I would like it. I didn't think I would be interested in the world, at fucking all, or like any of the the story shit whatsoever. I thought I would completely bounce off of that, and I thought I would be here for mostly, um, like the fun immersive sim elements of it, right? Solving shit in different ways, finding out branching dialogue. And make no mistake, that stuff is really fucking cool in this game. And it's probably, um, I would say, one of the two highlights. But holy shit, I found myself absolutely getting enthralled with the world. And I, I guess I didn't exactly hide it. I kept continually saying, like, how fucking cool the, the like, World of Darkness lore and shit is. And how good that this game is at, like, introducing someone who's completely unfamiliar to it. Because normally I... I completely bounce off of anything, um, any fiction that is supernatural or paranormal themed. I like, probably, I won't say nine times out of ten, I'll say like seven times out of ten, I'll bounce completely off of it. It's so much harder for me to get into it. And like, I've tried, um, in earnest to get into a lot of shit like, um, True Blood or, um, Supernatural, I think the show, or like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've never been able to get into that shit. But this has been like... I don't know. I fucking loved it. <laughs> and like I said throughout this playthrough, um, I, I now bear the curse of someone who has played through this game and is either liable to never get a sequel or be greatly disappointed by a sequel that does come out. Right? Holy shit. Kind of incredible. Some people have suggested... Um, I've seen in comments that consider playing this again every October or whatever, just like how we did this time. And certainly we could get through it faster a second time, right? Because we can, um, we, we, we don't need to read a lot of the text, right? We don't need to read a lot of text and there won't be long periods of me like pausing to come up with big theories and shit. Man, you know what? I'm after this, I'm absolutely going to look up. Um, should I look up other endings though? Fuck, I don't know. Should I, maybe I should just look up what's inside the sarcophagus. But in doing that, don't I kind of look up another ending? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is, it is kind of telling that I'm really curious about it, right? Huh. I guess that, that speaks levels of how, how good and fun this has been. Right. And like I said, the, the main storyline, it's, it, for the most part, it was, nah, right? Unless they're, like, I, if I were spot on with the allegories for, like, the war in Iraq and shit like that, and the war on terror, especially given how many references to, like, um, LaCroix blaming shit on terrorists or whatever, I feel like I might be spot on with that, but... Uh, you don't really get into that so much with the main story until, like, the latter third, I feel like. And maybe you do early on, but you don't really pick up on it as a new player because, like, you're still taking in so much shit. Like, it's going over your head and all that. I don't know. I I really fucking enjoyed my, my time with it, just to go back and reiterate on that. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Like, I, I I really did not expect to enjoy this shit so much. My god, is there a... I don't think there is, but how how is there no, like, CRPG set in the world of darkness, right? In which you assemble a crew, like, I don't know, you can play as, as one of the fun paranormal races or whatever, right? Or whatever you call them, one of the entities, the beings... You could be like, or or you just pick what kind of vampire you want to be, and then you get maybe different kinds of vampires in your group, or maybe other sorts of characters and stuff. Right? I don't know. I feel like there's a world of potential with the world of darkness. 
Like, the only World of Darkness games I know of are... There's a bunch of fairly well-regarded, like, visual novels, I want to say. Or games that are either very literally visual novels or are pretty close to being essentially visual novels with, like, branching stories and all that. Um, and Blood Hunt, right? I think, well, no, I think Troika made something before this as well. Right, you know what? Now that I think of it, someone someone even commented something to that effect. Yeah, I think they made something else in the world of darkness or whatever, but I don't think it was received quite as it didn't meet quite the same reception as this game, as far as I know. Maybe it did. Shit, like I don't I don't know. But yeah, I'm I'm so surprised there's not a CRPG, especially since like you know they're able to, like it seems like they're willing to license it out. To smaller dev teams who are working on um, visual novels and all that, right? I don't know. Really wild. Really cool. Man, are we already at the end of the credits here? Holy shit, I think we are. I'm gonna take a quick drink here. Are we gonna get like a weird post credit scene? <laughs> <laughs> it almost feels like we are going to get one. Oh, are we finally going to see the sun come up? That would be wild. Oh, no. We're back at the main menu. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. What a lot of cool potential for this game. Here's a question. If you are watching this, um, I know we got a significant uptick like a statistically significant amount of people have been watching this who have only, I think, come onto the channel just for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, right? And thank you very much for showing up. Appreciate that just as well. Yeah, thank, by, by the way, before I get too carried away here, thanks everyone for watching this playthrough. Thank you very much, even if for whatever reason you, you only have interest in this game. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for coming with me. Or if for whatever weird reason... You only wanted to see, like, the final video in this playthrough. <laughs> Very weird, but thank you nonetheless. Thanks all the folks who gave likes and comments and all that shit. Um, that all helps. Thank you very much. Of course, anyone who um, hit me up on Coffee, PayPal, or Patreon. Thanks as well there. Uh, thanks as well to the Mysterious Benefactor who gifted the game as well. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, I was about to say, wait, what the fuck was I about to say? I got completely carried off there. <laughs> well, I, see, I interrupted myself in case I got carried away, but then I carried myself away anyway. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. But there's so much, like, interesting potential with this because, like, how, like, some of the playthroughs I feel like could be completely different, not just narratively, right, in that you could... You could side with a different faction or whatever, right? Like, you could be a LaCroix loyalist to the end. It seemed like you could also go, like, independent, right? And then, of course, you could go Anarchs, right? So not only do you have that, but you have a lot of mechanical differences in your playthrough if you went, like, Nosferatu. Or, from the sounds of it, Malkavian is a very different playthrough, right? Which is why so many people recommend that new players don't begin with Malkavian. I don't know. Yeah, all that shit seems so wild and so cool. And it does tempt me to, like, legitimately do this again next year for October. But the catch is, I don't know if I have the fucking time to do it. <laughs> right? You know, at the beginning of this playthrough, I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll totally, most of this will be recorded in advance. But, like, I think two-thirds, three-fourths of the way through... I started running into like scheduling problems and also that's that's mostly my fault like I'm I'm a notoriously bad like slacker I'm extremely like that's this is my secret to not burning out after doing this for so long and still maintaining my like cheery attitude I'm just incredibly fucking lazy <laughs> that's that's my secret it's a trade off I I'm just really lazy I'm a massive slacker and everything I'm terrible. I'm terrible. But on the flip side, 
I'm a lot less prone to like burning out on shit, and I I enjoy my time a lot more. I find I don't know. Maybe maybe that's that's still waiting for me around the corner. Who knows? I don't know. Who knows what the future holds? But so far, it's been working out okay. <laughs> but um, especially for doing this in the future, um, not only is is around like from Halloween until like. New Year's or maybe even Valentine's uh, in my private life I get a fair bit more busy almost reliably even on years where I don't think that's going to happen I still kind of reliably end up getting busy but also uh, for next year specifically I definitely will, will be short on time granted I guess maybe if I recorded very far in advance right which, even that said, you know, there is some joy in the sort of back and forth, at least for me, at least on my end. I don't know how it is from, like, a viewer's perspective. Especially since, like, I no longer, like, we're years removed from this, but I can no longer respond individually to every single comment that I get. But, um, at least from, from my perspective, it is fun to, like, record a video, see what people have to say about it, and sort of, um... Um, I don't know if, if it's, if there's anything pertinent, react to it or something like that. Right. There is joy to be had there for me at least, but, um, next year I'll definitely be pressed for time in November. Right. So I could, I could record super massively in advance, but I don't know if I can, I don't know if I got it in me. Right. Cause also I have to account for like. If I play through this again, that's also another... Like, that's something new that I'm not doing. Right? But, um... Anyway, what I'm getting at, in November, Starfield is coming out. I'm super duper excited for that. But also, at the same time, like I said, if in a second playthrough or whatever... We would be significantly quicker, right? We could mo maybe bang out a playthrough in like 30 videos... I don't know. It depends. With significantly less reading and all that. I don't know. It's definitely something to think about. Maybe if if um if the sequel ever does um like get out of development hell and gets another release date, maybe leading up to it we'll do another playthrough for sure. Just to sort of like relive the fun moments and all that and I guess also interest in it will be will be much higher as well at the time if we're talking about like you know viewership and all that but I don't really mind that either way right like we do or the channel is doing fine if anything the channel is doing uh, fucking excellent lately <laughs> uh, the shorts have been amazing which by the way it's gonna be really weird <laughs> Because, you know, this was like the perfect Halloween-y themed sort of game and all that. And I've been, um, I've been slowly but surely harvesting shorts from these videos and all that. Because there's been a few, like, really <laughs> fucking rip-roaring moments and all that, right? And it's a, it's a sort of game that lends itself well to those, right? To, like, slapstick or emerging gameplay moments and stuff, right? Whereas, you know, it's, it's difficult to get that to play on... Um, like a CRPG where a lot of it is text and or it, like me reading text and talking, right? It's a lot more difficult to get a, a good short out of that stuff, I find. But um, it's going to be weird when I start putting these up and we're getting close to Christmas and I'm putting up vampire ass uh, shorts. <laughs> Granted, there there's some real good funny shit in there. I don't expect them to do as well as, uh, like, the Elder Scrolls stuff, right? Just by nature of this game still uh, being fairly within cult classic status, right? But yeah, oh shit, like I was saying, if, if you're a viewer who is completely new to Vampire the Masquerade, sound off in the comments. I'm very curious, right? You don't even have to type a whole lot, just just a little, just like, yeah, I, I learned about this game from this playthrough, or this was my first time ever experiencing this game, right? And hey, you know what? Given the replayability in this game, shit, this shit goes on sale fairly frequently. Like, 
I think by default on Steam, it's 20 bucks. Probably go on sale during like one of the big sales. Shit, for all I know, it's probably been free before on like GOG or something like that. I don't know. Well, then again, it's published by Activision. I don't know how how willing they would be to participate in something like that. Like I'm I'm pretty sure they still hold publishing and all that stuff. So they're still they'll still get money, I think. For, fuck, I, I guess I don't know. I have no idea how that works. Where does the money go if Troika is defunct now? Huh. Yeah, I have no idea. How does that even work? I'd assume it goes to Activision, if anyone, right? Yeah, fuck, I have no clue. Maybe it goes to the World of Darkness IP holder, whoever that is. Isn't that um, White Wolf Games or Snow Wolf Games or something like that? I don't know. Huh. Worth thinking about. But yeah, I, I feel like we, we had a significant amount of people who joined on just for this. Who And those people obviously are vampires. Very obviously to me. You are all vampires. Please don't get me. <laughs> and then also we had, I think, a, a fair few amount of people who came over from like the, the big Elder Scrolls stuff, which is definitely by far the most popular shit on the channel, right? But I do enjoy also uh, being able to in introduce people who are mostly into Elder Scrolls videos and all that to not only older Elder Scrolls games, but also like old ass <laughs> CRPGs or sometimes new ass CRPGs, like as, as was in the case of Disco Elysium, which we completed um, earlier this year. Started it late last year and completed early this year, I believe. There was a timeline on that. But, uh, like in the case of this, right? Get some, some fresh eyes on this stuff. You know what's really weird to me to think about? How many people, like the, um, the Battle Royale, that had like a few weeks of some modest popularity, didn't it? I want to say I saw like a fair few number of people like streaming that game. How many people do you think got into Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt and have no idea about like any of the rest of it, right? Like how much lore is, is shown up inside of that game, right? I don't know. Or is it mostly like mechanically focused that just so happens to be in the world? I have no idea. Because my take, as someone completely new to it, is that this game is fucking excellent at being, um, I don't know, introductory material to World of Darkness shit, right? And I've seen a few people say you should get interested into the tabletop role-playing game. I don't really have anyone to do tabletop role-playing games with. I've never done uh, pen and paper shit in my life. And <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at a point in my life where most of the people, most of my, like, um, regular friends who I hang out and play games with, it is nearly impossible to get, <laughs> to get a significant amount of people together uh, at the same time, right? <laughs> This is just uh, an unfortunate reality of the situation, right? Uh, though I guess you often hear about people who will have, like, a tabletop role-playing game group or whatever. And they're just like, shit, we haven't been able to play in months. Half a year, right? Fucking unfortunate, right? I guess maybe the easiest way you could get around that is if you happen to luck out and you have a group involving like co-workers or whatever who have the almost the exact same work-life balance schedule as you right but you know that's difficult depending on, on what you do for a living and all that all right but yeah vampire the masquerade bloodlines it doesn't even say bloodlines here except for every so often it, it flies by <laughs> really good shit right Thanks as well. You know, they weren't in the credits, but thanks to... Let me see here. Um, the Modders. Wesp5. I think Werner Spall? The real name? I don't know if you're you're allowed to say that, but I, I don't know. I did a Google beforehand. And Dan Upright, who was the person who originally did the unofficial mod, but then very early on in its life cycle, apparently did a trade-off to Wesp5. Thanks to them for the impeccable work. And, like, 
long-standing upkeep of the mod as well, the unofficial patch and all that. For sure, on, on the next playthrough, we'll do with the plus patch. And then I think there's also a patch version of it that has extra fun stuff as well, right? So we could also do that if we ever did a future playthrough, right? But don't get too excited. Don't get too excited by me saying that. I'm very much the kind of person who will just talk about stuff and, like, fancifully daydream about shit like that. And, you know, it just may never happen. You know what? I'm, I'm bad at this. Don't get too excited just because I'm saying stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm a very excitable person and and this happens. So just pretend like I said nothing. Pretend like I hated this game. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh but yeah, this was this was really fucking enjoyable. Really unexpected. I did not anticipate enjoying this nearly as much as I did. I like I said, I legitimately thought I would bounce off of the like lore and world building when the exact opposite happened and, I, and that was probably one of my favorite parts right like honestly some at, at some points in the game the fun immersive sim elements and like branching dialogue and stuff it was lacking like it wasn't there but it was fun to just find out like oh what cool part of this uh shit am i going to interact with next right what cool little facet of the world of darkness will i uncover next or whatever you know like um I would say the game operating at its peak, a really good early example, is the Santa Monica Medical Center, right? That was just like a perfect microcosm of when the game is like firing on all cylinders, that's kind of the experience that you get, right? And that, that experience definitely shows up at several moments in the game, right? Like um, at the Giovanni place, there's a few things similar to that, right? Or the... Um, the museum had a few different approaches in how you could do it, right? I think. Yeah, there was some fun stuff. Also, a lot of, um... A lot of reliance on, like, set pieces, I would say. Oh, you know, the sneaking through the Empire Arms Motel, or hotel, right? That was very cool, just as well. Yeah, very very odd game because probably about 50% of it was I would actually designate as like you know your typical immersive sim stuff where you have like multiple pathways that you can go through and a different character will excel at one path over another and all that right and the other half is like revolving around big set pieces like the the ocean view hotel as cool and fun as that was, there was very little in the way of immersive sim shit there, right? It was very linear. You know, there wasn't a lot of different ways to approach much there whatsoever. But even even that said, very cool area, right? Very memorable. What an odd game. Yeah, now that I think of it, how odd. What an odd game. It, it almost is like suffering an identity crisis, right? Like parts of it are immersive sim, other parts are just like, I don't know action set pieces i guess yeah how odd now that i think of it yeah that's very bizarre but somehow <laughs> it pulls it off and i i find myself yeah like we said all throughout this definitely a problematic fave like holy shit i can't believe how much i enjoyed it <laughs> and and like and it's not without its faults right even even in the writing department like sometimes it it fucking fumbles with the politics and shit um, you know, it's it shows its age with regards to some of its takes and depictions. Uh, it shows, yeah, this is very much 2004. But at the same time, in 2004, a lot of this was ahead of the fucking game, right? A lot of this was, was very forward. I don't know. What a fucking wild-ass, like, enigma of a game. <laughs> Zero regrets in playing it, right? Very, very fucking cool. Weird. What a cult classic. Yeah, I guess that is the definition of like a weird cult classic game, right? In, in that it has all these odd, odd things going for it, right? It, it, it accrues like a very peculiar sort of appeal. Now, yeah. how fucking wild. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we should, I should really try to end this now for real. I think I've tried to end it uh, three times now. We've just been looking at this. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. 
I'll probably get back to doing more work on shorts now that I've got more time free in my evenings and all that. Uh, because I'm not recording Vampire the Masquerade and all that stuff. So, hopefully expect more of those. We'll see. I don't know. Depends. <laughs> From the sounds of it, I don't know, there may be like a surprise major game release on Monday. I don't know if you've seen rumors. <laughs> uh, the 15th of November, 2021, for anyone watching this in the future. There might be a surprise game thing coming out. And I've also been playing a lot of forts in my free time, catching up on podcasts. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like we said at the top of this, thanks if you just tuned, even if you just tuned in to this one for some reason. I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of the likes, dislikes, even dislikes help with the algorithm. Although they've <laughs> they've hidden the the dislike bar. Eh, what can you do? I don't really mind it one way or the other. I know I know some folks have strong opinions on being removed. I don't know. I don't I don't really care. I mean, I guess I guess as a viewer, fuck, here I go again. I'm on a tangent. I, as a viewer, it's kind of weird cuz sometimes you would use it as a way to like gauge like how useful this video is, right? But <laughs> anyway, I digress. I need to pull myself out of this fucking conversation thread as well. <laughs> All right. Um Yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks, thanks anyone who commented. It, it's been a joy to read through the comments and all the people explaining different parts of the lore and stuff and going, D yeah, that was a, definitely an upside of when I began to fall behind on the videos was being able to read people's uh, uh, information on like the game and the world and all that. That shit was really cool. Very much appreciate all that. And uh, yeah, of course, thank you to those folks who hit us up on uh, PayPal, Coffee, Patreon, all that stuff. Thank you very much. Um, if if you don't show up for either Baldur's Gate or any of the Elder Scrolls stuff that we do, thank you very much, right? Thanks for, for chilling out for this one. Hey, maybe if, if the sequel ever comes out, maybe we'll see you back again, right? Maybe, perhaps, who knows? <laughs> we'll hope against hope. I, I, I don't know. I feel like if it ever comes out, it, it is a long ways out. <laughs> All right. Until next, well... Until we meet again, if ever we do, please take care of each other. <laughs>